Satnam, 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 it's Lynn here. I'm so excited. We are going on another retreat. This time we are going to the mystical lands of the Far East, Vietnam and Cambodia. We will be traveling on a luxury river cruise with Ama Waterways. Oh my goodness. We are 81 days away. Woohoo. Time to start thinking about packing. Wait, wait. Did she just say packing 81 days ahead of time? I have not gone crazy. Do you know what day tomorrow is? Amazon Prime Day. Woohoo! Sales, sales, sales. You never know. Something in here might be on sale. So now is the time to think about packing. But not only because of that, but we are right now in California, summer. And we technically are not leaving until the fall. So it is hot in Vietnam, Cambodia. Average temperature is about 80. High. Low is 70. I know it doesn't seem big, but add humidity to that, and that is a big deal. So you need to have flowing clothes, cool clothes, and now is the time to search for those clothes. Did you notice my vest? Did you notice? Isn't this cute? So this is actually my travel outfit. This vest has all the pockets I need so I don't lose everything from my phone. To my passport which I can't find right now but I have 81 days to find it I'm gonna be okay um, but I could put my phone in here I put my passport in here put my boarding pass in here everything at my fingertips so I'm not searching trying to figure out where everything is <laughs> let's start off with digestion if it were me I would start working on my digestion right now very important that your digestion is running smoothly because we are traveling to a third world country Sometimes a little small bacteria could irritate you so much, but if your digestive tract is healthy, it will just flow through with ease and grace. Number one, I like to do truffula. I do truffula all year long, but truffula is great to make sure things are running smoothly. It's not like you want to wait. You want to start now so everything is running smooth. I also do prebiotics and probiotics, keeping my healthy digestion. Did you know that digestion is 70% of your immune system? I put a bunch of links down below. There's all different versions. I rotate between what versions I do. So you decide which ones that you like and make sure you start right away. So you are allowed three bags. Did you hear that? One, two, three. One check-on luggage, one carry-on luggage, and one personal item. That's it. You can do it. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I know I can. Let's start off with my personal item. I have to give you a disclaimer. My personal item, I'm in a little bit of a switcheroo because the bag that I've carried for 20 years, oh my God, right? 20 years has a hole in it. I'm a little scared that hole might be a little big and then I have problems. So I'm doing a new investigation and so this is my new bag. We'll see how it works out. I might change before we leave. My first bag was in the bag was in the bag. <laughs> I'm a Virgo. Did I mention I'm a Virgo? I have issues. My first bag is while I'm on the airplane. This bag is actually my grocery bag. Nothing fancy. My grocery bag. But look, I could just put it on the seat in front of me. Pretend like I'm the chair in front of me. And it has everything I need. Let's start off with snacks, protein bars, little face wipes. We're traveling for 19 hours. That's a long time. So I like to have little face wipes, make sure that I can cleanse the up whenever I need. There's a little shirt in here. Did you notice how small that shirt was? Kind of just tucked in there. On the airplane, it can get cold, right? So I have a little shirt in case it gets cold. Oh, compression socks. Oh my gosh, my feet swell like crazy. Compression socks are the secret answer. More snacks. David always complains because I carry so much and then he's eating my snacks. But this snack, oh my God, I'm so excited for you to try some of the exotic fruits in Vietnam. This is not so exotic. It's actually grapefruit rinds, but so delicious. Oh my gosh, you're going to love the food there. Let's see what else is in here. Ah, 19 hours. I might want to listen to my own music, watch a movie. And so I have my big headset that go over my ears. I have my small headset that just clips over my ears. This is actually my yoga headset. 
And then I have one more headset. Yes, I'm a little crazy. This one plugs into the airplane just in case I want to watch one of their movies. That's all that's in there. Let's get rid of that. Let's see. The next bag. This is my day pack. Highly recommend you have something that you can carry along all day. Small, easy to carry. It's a backpack. I'm going to take off this, this other shirt right now. I want you to notice something. Mm -hmm. My shoulders are showing. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But this little day pack is nice because I can put it on my backpack. I could put it in my front pack. It has all these amazing zippers that a Virgo loves. So let's see what is in here. Uh-oh, my day pack is falling apart. Number one. Okay, you're going to think I'm crazy. This is toilet paper. I went to my toilet paper roll. I just took a little bit of toilet paper. Sometimes we will be traveling to small little communities and... Sometimes they just don't have toilet paper. If you're prepared, you'll be fine. If you're not prepared, you'll regret that you didn't prepare. <laughs> Let's see what else is in here. Oh, I have a selfie stick. Now, do you have to have a selfie stick? Not really. But you're going to be so jealous when you see all the photos that I take. So get the little selfie stick. All right. <laughs> now you're going to really think I'm crazy. This is my little fan, my Mickey fan. Is it not the cutest little thing? Oh. It has three speeds. Wah! Wah! <laughs> it's hot, and I know you think I'm silly right now, but when I have my little Mickey fan later, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have got it. It was nine bucks worth every penny. Oh, oh. Did I mention sometimes the toilets are not the same as we're used to? We're used to those little seat covers. They're not everywhere in the world, so I travel with my little seat covers. Do you need it? Not necessarily, but hey, I'm a prima donna, so what the heck. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, did my camera go blurry? One moment, please. Better. Bugs. They have mosquitoes there. I hate mosquitoes, and so mosquitoes love me, but if I have the bug spray, I don't have to worry about it. Suntan. Lotion. Actually, it's not lotion. It's the powder. I put my lotion on in the morning, but I need to touch it up throughout the day, so I have a little powder. Now, this is, oh, I love EO sanitizers. They no longer offer the cute little packs, which is okay. Now they do the little 10 packs, which is better for the environment. So I happen to have a zillion of these, but now I will be buying the 10 pack. It's better for the environment. It's totally fine. First Little zippers, empty. Do I have anything in here? Mm, that zipper's empty. I've got to find something to put in there. Let's go to the big zipper. Ah, oh, I mentioned I get hot, right? So when I'm hot, I just put my hair up into a little bun, and then voila, I let it down, and I look like I have luscious hair. Water bottle. I like to save the earth one bottle at a time. I love that the airports now have the filtered water and you could just go and put your bottle underneath there. You will all be getting one of these. You can also refill on the boat with whatever you want, lemon water, cucumber water. They have all kinds of water on the boat. Sunglasses, there will be lots of sun, so prepare for lots of sun which means you want to make sure you have a sun hat. A lot of the different tours we're going on are to the temples and they don't have a lot of shade. So if you have a nice little sun hat, you'll be just fine. I have another little shawl. When you go from the hot, humid 80 degrees and then you go into the air conditioning, it can be a little shocking. So I like to carry a shawl just in case. Now, I always carry an emergency poncho. Everyone says I'm crazy, but I think because I carry this poncho, it never rains. But there's a chance that it might rain. It's actually pretty cool. Um, shower, 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 and then sun, sun, sun. But if it gets really bad, at least you have a rain poncho. Do you have to have it? No. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. Okay, so that was my little pack. That's your day pack. Let's see. Now, these two packs that I'm going through, these two packs, I could actually survive if they lost my big suitcase. 
I will survive. So make sure that when you're packing, that you are packing. If they were to lose your suitcase, if you pack so that they lose it, you don't have to worry about it. But if you don't, let me tell you, they're probably going to lose your suitcase. What is in here? <laughs> you're going to think I'm silly. But I like to have little slippers when I'm on the boat. Why wear shoes when I can have cute little slippers? So these are my cute little slippers. This is what I call my medical bag. This little bag has liquid IV. Have you heard of liquid IV? It's truly amazing. And when you're sweating all day long and if you are hydrated, you'll be just fine. So the liquid IV, my favorite is the tangerine. The tangerine actually is also an immune booster. Woohoo! I also like to do the green one. The green one is for energy in case I'm a little losing my energy. What else is in here? Ah, uh, more probiotics. This one is the easy to go little pri probiotics. This is the fancy version of the probiotics. Oh, if I carry diarrhea pills, I won't get diarrhea. <laughs> so just in case there's a little bug that takes over, I have the backup plan in place, but because I carry it, I know I never have to use it. What else is in here? Ah, this is my sun pack. So I can transfer that other bag into my beach bag and I have my suntan lotion, I have my rose water, my little hair spray, um, more bug spray just in case. Well actually these are not bug spray, this is a bug patch. I tried it when I was in South Dakota, I wasn't fond of it. I still got bug bites because the bugs love me. Did I mention how much the bugs love me? While you're traveling, it's always nice to have a converter. This particular converter is for both David and I, so it has plug-ins, USB ports, all kinds of things in there. Did I mention? Link below. This is my hygiene pack. I love my hygiene pack. Oh, actually, I'm pretty impressed. I'm a Virgo, so I have issues. But to start off with, in my hygiene pack, this actually has anything that has to do with liquid. So when I'm going through um, security check, Everything with liquids is in here. Number one is peppermint oil. Peppermint oil not only is delicious, but it helps to keep you cool. You will all be getting your own personal bottle of peppermint oil because I love it so much. You're each going to get one. I also like to have, oh, cinnamon oil. This is for my coffee. I love cinnamon oil in my coffee. Lemon water every single morning. You always should have lemon water. Okay, so that's what that is. Ah, and this little thing just pulls right out, goes into the shower. I actually will not be carrying shampoo for this particular trip because we're staying in great luxury. So they have great shampoos, but I'm very picky about my conditioner. So I have conditioner. I'm very picky about my face wash. So I'll have my face wash, but it's not nice. It just kind of goes right in. Oh, I could actually put it right in here. All the others, my tongue scraper, all that kind of stuff. You can figure out what you need there. What else is in here? Makeup. I don't look beautiful naturally, <laughs> well, kind of, but there's a little extra that helps me out. But I wanted to point one thing out. When I'm sweating profusely, my favorite mascara is Blink. It's like a tubing mascara, so it doesn't, like, fall all over. So that's the, all the other makeup you can figure out, but that one is pretty spectacular. Let's see here. Ah, I will survive for two days. This little bag has pants, a shirt. It has a shawl to cover me when I go to the temples. It also has my yoga teaching clothes. All of that in this little bag. Everyone's always like, how does she do it? The secret is, in the link, you'll find, look at this. I stuff it all in there. Look at how big this gets. All those clothes are in here. Then I smoosh it down and I zip it up, and that's how everything fits in there. That's the secret. This is my mouse because I am working on this trip. Feel sorry for me. Oh, my gosh, I have to work. <laughs> I have the best job in the world. <laughs> Here's my computer, my mouse, and all of that kind of fun stuff. And I think that's it. Oh, there's another selfie stick. This one's a lot more fancy. This one I could take way out there, comes into a tripod. We're going to get some great photos, guys. We're going to get some great photos. All right, that bag is empty. 
Now let's get into the one, one check on luggage that you will get. Let's see what's in here. For starters, if you have been on a retreat with me to Vietnam, to Thailand, the temples are a little different. In the temples there, you could wear a shirt like this, and then you could just put a shawl over you, and you would be okay. That is not okay in Cambodia. Please note, that is not okay in Cambodia. You have to cover up in Cambodia. For pants, you have to be below your knee. They say, ideally, you're wearing ankle length, so no shorts are allowed. Also, you have to be covered up, up above. So I actually will be wearing two. It's hot. And so I figure if I have two different flowing items, at least I will not be so hot. So I have a small one underneath. This one is a little see-through. Notice how see-through it is. That will not be okay. So that's what the second one does. And now I can walk through. If I get hot, I can kind of just let the breeze flow through me. So make sure that you have something to cover up. No shoulders. They say ideally you're at about mid-length for your arms, okay? And then here's a whole bunch of versions of it. I have a black version, a white version. So all different types of versions. We will be going and getting a blessing from the mugs. It's going to be so cool. Let's see, what else is in here? Uh, this is just my backup to everything that was in the other one that was small for the I Will Survive bag. This is the backup to it. I've done something new with my packing. I used to use all these little packing cubes. Uh-oh. I went blurry again. I'm not allowed to move fast. Slow down. I used to do this, but it was always such a nightmare unpacking. So now I've gone to the next level. All of my shirts all ready. I can just hang them in my closet. Isn't that nice? It's not only nice when you go on vacation it's really nice when you come home because you've been gone for two weeks you've got a million things to do when you get back and unpacking is like the last thing you want to do check this out I'm very excited about this I just think of all those little bags instead I now have one that hangs in my closet Voila! Check it out! <laughs> you can unzip it, and within each zipper, there's all kinds of goodies. I added a little bit to it. I added a little Velcro, because I didn't like that just hanging there. So I added a little Velcro, and I put it back. So it's out of the way, maybe. Shoes. Ladies, I know. You would like to have shoes that match every single outfit, but if you do that, you're going to have more than the three bag limit that you have. So only two shoes is all you need. Very important, I think, that you note that when we go into any of the temples, you're going to have to take your shoes off, put your shoes on, take your shoes off, put your shoes on. So if you have lace-up shoes, you got to keep lacing them up. Not a fun deal. Flip-on shoes, they just flip on, they flip off, they flip on, they flip off. These are actually water shoes. These water shoes, I have actually hiked in the jungle. I have wandered around with elephants. They're amazing. They're so, so comfortable, lightweight. They slip on, they slip off. Link is below. I have them in this color and I also have them in black. I love them so much. I think I'm actually going to try, they have a new version out that are like more like tennis shoes. I'm going to try them, see what it's like. What else is in here? Oh, not only, oops, I moved too fast. Hang on. Slow down, says my camera. Okay, I'm back. Not only will I be teaching yoga, Alma Waterways has a wellness coordinator on board who will be teaching three classes a day. You also could take Tai Chi classes and meditation classes. So I have some leggings, so I can take that class. I have more shawls in there. So that's the first section. The second section is my all-time favorite. Being a Virgo and having like little compartments, oh yeah, that's like 
pretty cool. Again, I put the Velcro on there so that I don't have this weird little thing hanging. But look at this. You can't see it because it's black, but there's little cubicles in there. Four, six little cubicles. So I have, did I mention that my shirts are swimsuits? So they're light fabric. They have built-in bras. So all of, all of my swimsuits are actually my shirts. But isn't that neat? Did you see that? And I can organize it. And I can stuff it in there. And they're wrinkle-free. <laughs> Life is good. Let's see. Oh, this is my favorite part. Okay, ready? Watch this. Wait, camera, are you focused? Okay. See how tiny it is now? I just go in. I have to find the zipper. It's here somewhere. When I unzip it, oh my goodness. Wait for it, wait for it. Look at that. I have all my little swimsuits in there. Yes, there's a pool on board. With all my panties, you don't need to see that. But isn't that cool? Look at that. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to love this bag. Voila! Again, just hanging up in the closet. So I have skirts. I have flowy pants. On our river cruise, the... What's the word? The attire? The attire? is casual, comfortable. Casual, comfortable. Very important that you're comfortable. But there are a couple days you might not be comfortable. You might want to look really, really good. We have a captain's dinner. I think I might wear a cute little black dress. <laughs> so we have a captain's dinner planned. We also have a chef's table dinner planned. So you might want to dress a little more than casual for that. I think they're, oh, my other pair of shoes, my other pair of shoes. I love these shoes. When I find things that I love, I actually get them in every color possible. Just like this shirt, I have it in like six different versions. That shirt, I have it in six different versions. And these shoes, I have black ones, white ones, blue ones, tan ones, taupe ones. <laughs> I think I have six pair. They're so, so comfortable. I love them. All right, what else is in here? I think I can take off my captain's hat. A yoga mat. Please bring your own yoga mat, but please let it be a cheap yoga mat that you don't really care about, lightweight, because you're going to find so many amazing things that you're going to want to buy while you're there. And... If you get rid of your yoga mat at the end of the trip, then you will have more room to pack all the great things that you buy there. So I think I've covered everything. Yeah. What is the rule? Travel light, spread the light, and be the light. I look forward to an amazing trip with you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. But remember, the link is below. And what day is it today? <gasps> Well, not today. Tomorrow, Amazon Prime Day. Go get everything you need so you can save a lot of money. And I look forward, I look forward to an amazing trip with each and every one of you.